Hi guys, it's Lauren here coming into you live from the Prince Charles Hospital here in Queensland, Australia. It's currently just after 2pm on Monday the 6th of July 2015. Um, I've, as most of you guys know, I've actually been um, in and out of hospital for the last say, few months. I've been doing a, had a few uh, medical issues which I needed to deal with and I also needed to um, get a few problems solved. So um, today was just another day of um, trying to get things tested and stuff like that so um, unfortunately unfortunately I did have another turn so i um, not feeling the best and unfortunately it's just another day for me and I hope to Christ that I have some sort of um, issue solved very shortly because it is getting very frustrating. Um, with this turn that I had today that was what the doctors actually wanted me to do because they wanted to see what the problem was now that they've actually seen the problem for themselves they actually understand what is actually going on so that's just you know I'm okay I am feeling okay I actually was well when I came in but you know the things that they wanted me to do which, which is completely what they expected unfortunately so yeah um, today before I actually headed into um, my doctor's appointment um, I was um, confronted by a few um, people on a group with, on Facebook in regards to um, just some things that were actually said about me and my relationship with my girlfriend who I've been in a relationship for the past six years. Now if you have any issues with homophobia, if you have any issues with me actually being in a relationship and also that the fact that she has Facebook, come speak to me about it because I am seriously, think, I seriously think that you're pathetic basically and I have no issues with you coming down, coming to see me, having a chat with me, I have no issues with that because I have nothing to hide. So if you've got anything about me that you want to say, say it to my face, don't say it, don't say it on Facebook because I tell you that it just makes you look even more sadder. So. For those people who may have saw it, I was basically told that my relationship with my girlfriend, who I have been in a relationship for the past couple of years, has been a lie. Now, I have I met her in Sydney. Her name is Lana. She comes from Israel originally. She now lives in Christchurch in New Zealand. What's the problem? What is the problem? The fact that I actually have a relationship and the fact that she helps me out on the All Blacks fans in Brisbane... Um, page. What's their problem? All I see is the problem with somebody who is very uncomfortable with the fact that I actually have made something which obviously you couldn't think of earlier. Oh well that's that's not my problem. I've done that and if you want to compete against me that's fine but at least I know that I have more followers than you and at least I actually have the support and backing of my family, my friends, my girlfriend, her family and um, about six or seven hundred other people around me. So if you have any other issues with how I feel or how I do things or the fact that my relationship or the fact that how I actually earn my money, well then you come and see me directly. Don't say it on Facebook because it makes you look even more pathetic. So anyway, I thought, you know, today um, it's been just a very quiet day and, you know, I'm... I'm not having to, I'm not worried about anything at the moment. I just want to get home. I want to eat something and then hopefully rest easy and sort of get over this whole um, trip at the hospital. Hospitals to me, I hate them. I am sick of being in them. So I just want to go home. You know, and the thing is that, you know, with IBK, I don't have to worry about having days off from work because um and stuff like that I'm not having to worry about that because I've got the auto poster running at the moment I'm you know I've got um got le still got leads coming in now even this morning and this is for all you haters even this morning I've got about 15 people actually interested in buying into IBK what have you got oh you're just sitting at home sitting behind a computer doing nothing with your life you're probably unemployed but that's okay at least I'm actually out there doing something with my life anyway so um, for everybody you know if you're wanting to if you're wanting to actually support me and stuff like that that's great thank you so much for all your support for everybody else it just you know I don't have any issues with it I don't have anything to hide you if you've got a problem with me just come speak it speak it to my face you know where to find me so you come speak speak to my face
Anyway, see you guys later, and um, I should actually have another video blog up in the last sometime this afternoon. Alright, bye.